I have been sitting on the grass under the black night sky trying to light a fire to cook the squirrel I had killed skinned and harpooned on a stick. I had a pile of tinder dried leaves and small twigs and on top of it I had slightly larger sticks and then larger sticks on those up to sticks that were about as thick as my wrist. I had a lighter and was trying to get it to light all I could get was sparks and I had been trying to get some of the sparks to ignite the tinder I had been trying for about 10 minutes without luck. Suddenly something comes out of the tree line it was like a mutant version of me but even worse I started freaking out bad it started aping my speech saying things I had spoken into my phone earlier like hello how can I help you just kept saying that over and over as it stared at me and walked towards me slowly. I took the squirrel off the harpoon which was really just a stick I had sharpened with a knife and readied the spear in my hands. You're fucking dead, I said. I threw the spear through the air it spin as it flew and just kind of smacked into him longwise with the spear pointing down. Hi, how can I help you? The abomination uttered. Fuck this, I said, and I started running through the blackness. I ran into a cornfield dark blue and blowing gently in the midnight breeze just before I disappeared into the corn stalks I looked behind me there it was standing in front of my fire staring at me but also doing something else it had something in its hand flint and steel. It had lit my fire for me it also had a spear in its hands and had re-harpooned the squirrel and set it on the fire. I had heard about this, I spoke out loud to no one in particular. Skinwalkers. But what did it want? The squirrel finished roasting and ate it while I tried to suppress my fear. This is fucked up. I need to get out of here, I said out loud as I curled up on the grass and fell asleep. When I woke up, someone, or something, had cleaned the squirrel grease off of my hands and face. Jesus Christ, I uttered, what the hell is going on here? Then I heard it in the woods again. Thanks, you too. Have a great day. I ran hard. After about 20 seconds I stopped, out of breath. I saw a plane high up in the sky, leaving a chemtrail behind it. I pulled out my emergency flare and shot it upwards. The plane continued on, though, ignoring the flare. You son of a bitch! I whispered. I walked back to my car and got in. As I started the engine, I thought I saw something flicker in the bushes. I wasn't sure though. I drove back home and have never shared this story with anyone. Please, keep it secret. There are screwed up things in the woods.